recent concert in Los Angeles, Lauren Hill went off on fans' feelings regarding her being late to her own shows. So I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. Because we're the survivors. And we're not just the survivors, we're the thrivers. A lot to take in, so let's discuss. There is no doubt, if anyone knew a damn thing about the Fugees, that Hill spoke too much truth in her lyrics. However, does it excuse her not showing up or only playing for at times some 20 or 30 or 40 minutes? Is it just me or people really listen to react and not listen to comprehend? Because that shit ain't make no sense yesterday. God should be thankful. By the grace of God, did I even make it on this stage? Huh? <laughs> First of all, this woman is not sick. Family ain't sick. When she was holding her mother's hand, I thought, you know, she was about to say, like, I've been taking care of my mom. No. Okay, you missing your shows because of your vocal range. I let your voice. That's understandable. We're up here talking like we supposed to have some type of compassion for you being late on purpose. What? I know this woman and lost her damn mind. Like that shit disturbed the hell out of me because the crowd was going crazy when she was up there talking like she was Dr. King himself. So she be happy by the grace of God. If I get a pair of tickets, I expect for you to, you know, come out on time. But if you're not gonna come out on time on purpose, like, child, I ain't about to give it up for that. The hell? Quite honestly, in my view, it's layered. She was heckled and booed at the Apollo when she was just 13. She found success with the Fugees, but did not want to be viewed as second fiddle to Wyclef Jean. The miseducation of Lauren Hill did crazy numbers and she became an international star. But some like Robert Glasper, who I've seen in concert and is incredible with Dinner Party. If you have no idea who I'm talking about, after you watch this, go Spotify their stuff, go see them in concert, they are Incredible. Robert Glasper spoke on this previously, and here's part of what he said. My The MD, my friend, was like, just so you know, don't look her in the eye. Call her Miss Hill. So these be rumors be true? Like that's 100% true. Don't look her in the eye? Don't look her in the eye. Don't, and, and you have to call her Miss Hill. Don't look her in the eye. So in one, one of the days in rehearsal, she was like, uh, Robert, I need you to blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, Lauren. Respect, I respect. Respect, respect. You know what I mean? You don't. You can't come into a situation, especially when you've already stolen all of my friends' music. Miseducation was made by great musicians and producers oh, that I know. Oh, Lord. Personally. Go ahead, what you talking about? Actually, let us speak. You know what I mean? Oh, I want to oh, know Lord. more. Oh, Lord. So you got a big hand off oh, of Lord. music that you didn't even write. Oh. <laughs> you feel me, though? I've met Stevie Wonder. <laughs> and hung out with Stevie. I've met Quincy Jones, hung out with Quincy Jones. I've met Herbie Hancock, hung out with Herbie Hancock. Some if great. those three people can be cool, Lauren Hill should be able to be cool. <laughs> you haven't done enough to be the way you are. You just have not. Mm. The one thing you did that was great, you didn't do. Wow. All right, Robert. <laughs> no, we want to know, Hannah. <laughs> Look, what I'm saying is she she took the credit for making the classic album. Those songs were written by other people, and they did not get their credit. She likes to take credit so she can become this super person. If you're a super person you're that, and you're that talented, do it again. Do it. You feel me? She couldn't tune her guitar in rehearsal. Per Rolling Stone, she was sued by four men who had worked on the record who alleged that she had claimed full credit for music that they'd been at least partly responsible for. Her label, Columbia, urged her to settle, but she wanted to fight. 
She felt settling would have been an admission of guilt, said a friend. She was very concerned about credit. It's what eluded her from past success with the Fugees. She didn't want to just be a pretty face and a pretty voice. She wanted people to know she knows what she's doing, but she had to go into depositions and discuss making her art with lawyers. That blanked with her, another friend said. On top of this, during her six-minute speech, Hill claimed she received no industry support after the commercial success of Miss Education, despite a 2003 Rolling Stone report that she was in demand and working on a new album. She'd say, so I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over again because we're the survivors, not just the survivors, we're the thrivers. Hill's long-standing commitment to being in complete control often included her pushing back against the idea of idol worship and parasocial exchanges between artists and fans who feel entitled to any piece of them. I agreed to share my art. I'm not agreeing necessarily to share myself. The entitlement that people often feel like they somehow own you or own a piece of you can be incredibly dangerous, she told Rolling Stone three years ago. I chafe under any kind of control like that and resist expectations that suggest I should somehow dumb down and be predictable to make people feel comfortable rather than authentically express myself. Now, here's my take. I paid for tickets at Camp Flogna, I believe it was like 2018, I want to say, 2017, 2018, something like that. And I saw that Lauren Hill was playing. I bought tickets for both days because I was like, YOLO, I still want to see Pusha T. So I saw him close Friday. He was awesome. Saturday comes around and having a good time, doing our thing. And Lauren Hill's set is going to start get there early her dj comes on she has an hour and a half set her dj comes on warming up the crowd i get it been to a hip-hop show many times fine her dj played for almost an hour people left to go to the other stage go to the carnival go do other stuff at that point i couldn't blame them they just kept spinning records and People were flog gnawing the hell out of there. And it started to hit me like, okay, I get it now. I get why a lot of people don't want to go to a Lauren Hill show. I get it. She played for about 30 minutes um, and then bounced. She sounded good to me. Was it worth the wait? I look back on it now and I'm like, maybe not. I think there is a disconnect, though, that there is, it's split into two camps when really many might not see the middle, and I think centrism is terrible, but when it comes to Lauren Hill, there are so many moving factors here. There's the one camp that's like, F Lauren Hill, I am never seeing her again, she made me wait, I paid my money to see her, and she's only going to pl uh, play for a certain amount of time which is a fraction of what she said she would and uh, is billed to play. And I get that. I think if y'all go out there, spend your hard-earned money, you're promised something and you don't get it, yeah, that's messed up. I get that. The other part is she is in an industry that is incredibly unforgiving. Does that make, if what Robert Glasper said, and I have no reason to display, who is Robert Glasper? I have no reason to uh, not believe him, but like, I think she's been screwed over so many times. That doesn't mean that it's right for her to screw over, screw over other people. It doesn't mean that it's right for her to not give writing credits or song credits, what have you, because that in turn elevate someone's career you would think and people would be praised for this like crazy and love them or hate them one of the first people i saw doing this being in chicago was chance the rapper it was like chance the rapper featuring yada yada chance the rapper featuring yada yada and this is not something new he obviously saw what other people did in the process uh years prior as well i get that acid rap great up. um and so I take Robert Glasper's word because he has proven over time to not only be an incredible artist, but also incredibly, incredibly credible. How I see it is, Lauren Hill is a product of an industry where it's dog eat dog. Robert Glasper told the story about how 
Lauren Hill would go to Japan with her band and she played with the best musicians in the world. And then she would audition other band members. There was a story he told about how they were set to do a 20 minute show. She hated the way they rehearsed and then said, had her manager come over and say, we're cutting your pay in half. And Robert Glasper basically walked out because he knew that they needed him. So I'm, I'm in this space of like, uh, Miseducation of Lauryn Hill is one of the greatest albums of all time, my opinion. One of the greatest. And yet, it's not a matter of separating the art from the artist. I don't buy into that. I think they're actually intertwined. I think the things that happen make you the person you are and the artist you are. But for her to continue going on this tour and then you know, invoking God is fine, but using that as a cudgel against the fans who support her and are there early, giving her money for her to only play for like 20 minutes, personally, like where is the self-responsibility to deliver? And it's not a matter of like, hey, you need to do this. It's that we have this uh, unspoken contract of, I pay to see you. The least I expect out of you is a full performance because that's literally what I'm buying. This isn't a this isn't a pay per view boxing match where you pay and you just don't really know what you're gonna get. Although it is with Lauren Hill, apparently it could be a first round knockout or it could maybe go six out of twelve rounds. Who the hell knows? For me, there's a lot here. Um, there was also in the Rolling Stone piece about how. There was um, a guy, uh, brother something, who Praz said was more like a cult leader than he was a um, priest, let's say. Someone who uh, would preach the Bible. And Lauren Hill fell deep into that as well. There's just a lot here, man. I look forward to seeing your comments, though. So entertain me if you will.